Okay, folks, this is going to be using blueprints to show text on screen and just a general introduction to text on screen. So here I am in our level where we can currently walk over to the statue on the pad and pick it up or have it disappear as it is right now. So what we're going to do is, well, first, why don't we move this somewhere where it's easier to pick up so that we can test it more quickly. Let's put it over there. Great. Now we're going to go to our content drawer and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say user interface widget blueprint. And I'm going to under this pick parent class, I'm just going to say user widget. And I'm going to give this a name of WB for widget blueprint underscore pickup statue. I'm going to double click it so we can edit it. And now I'm editing it. So we could just drag some text onto the screen, but we want to have a little bit of control about how it shows up on the screen. So we're going to go down to panel and we're going to grab a canvas panel and we're going to drop it onto the screen. Now, these panels are typically um, scaled to fit your screen and you can drop things like text into this canvas panel. What that means is this text will now have an anchor of where it fits into the canvas panel and I can go to anchors and I can highlight the center and if I hold shift while I click and then I hold control while I click, it should center our text block here. I can then go to the text portion of the text block and I can say, you picked up a statue with an exclamation mark. If I'd like to, I can change the color and I can change the opacity. Let's make this a cyan. And I can also scroll down to the justification, actually too far, appearance, color, justification is right here and I can center that so that it's centered on our other center in our canvas. So no matter how the screen scales, this text should be positioned at the center of the center. Once our widget is all set up. We're going to compile it. We're going to save it. Now, we need to have a way that the text or the, the widget is going to show up on screen. So in order to do that, I'm going to open the content drawer. And right now, our BP collect is our pad that holds the statue. And it also turns off the statue after we pick it up. So. We're now going to add a couple steps to this. We're going to drag off and create a create widget from user interface. And once we have that, the class that we're going to specify is the one that we created. And just as a reminder, that was WB pickup statue. So I'm WB underscore pickup statue. And once that shows up, <coughs> excuse me. Once that shows up, we're also going to want to have this drag off and we're going to say that we're going to add it to viewport. I can take that return value of create that widget <coughs> and click that in here. And then when I pull this one off, what I'm going to do is, well, actually, let's just compile this and try it really quick. So when I pick this up, it says, you picked up a statue and it shows up in the center of our screen. But it never goes away. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a delay. It delays in seconds. Let's make it 1.3 seconds. And after... <coughs> excuse me again, uh, after it shows the blueprint widget 
for 1.3 seconds, we're gonna want it to be removed. So we're gonna type remove from parent. Unfortunately, that doesn't show up as an option in content sensitive, context sensitive, excuse me. You need to make sure you unclick that and it'll now show up and you can select it. You're also gonna wanna make sure that it's being removed that you're telling it what to remove. So we're removing that, that blueprint from there, that widget blueprint from there. And we're gonna compile this and we're gonna save it. And now we're gonna test it again. Pick it up, you pick up a statue and it disappears. Now the only problem with this is that even though the statue disappears, the collision is still there. So what we're also going to want to do, and you can do this anywhere on the string, it might make more sense to have it happen at the same time here. We're going to create something that is set actor collision, set actor enable collision, and we're going to set it to false. And that's going to be true for the entire thing. So I can grab this static mesh which the box and the statue are both child of the static mesh. So if I turn off collisions for this, it should, static mesh component should not be, mm, actually because this is self, all of these elements will be part of that. So it should not need that. Let's double check that. Okay. We pick it up, we mock away, we try and pick it up again, and we can no longer pick it up again. Great. Well, if you're concerned about the fact that the statue base is still visible, the, the square is still visible, the other thing that we can do is we can change this, we can actually just delete this, and it'll be self, and the whole thing should disappear. Compile, press play. It needs, it really needs a target. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I put in a reference? I can't put in a reference to that. And can I put in a reference to this? There we go. That's going to fix it. So rather than just calling out the statue as being turned invisible, we're going to call out the static mesh component, which includes both the box and the statue. Picked it up. Oh, look at that. Wow, we're gonna need to turn off both. Wow, such a simple, easy thing. Copy and paste. Getting so complicated having to do multiple steps. But it's all good. It'll be better as a result of all of this work. There we go. Let's move these out just a little bit so that we can bring this up there and have that script look a little cleaner, a little nicer. Compile, save. Just gonna close this window because I think it is all done. And picked up a statue and there's none, no other ones. And so if we have two of these, that's gonna work for both times. You picked up a statue. You picked up a statue. There we go. So that's we how we have text showing up on screen. If you'd like to do a little bit more with text, I'm going to recommend that you try doing the coin series uh, that I have. There's a playlist posted um, and that will walk you through a lot of these steps and it will also allow you to understand how to have text that stays on screen and counts how many statues that you pick up or how many coins you pick up using variables. All right. Thanks for joining. Let me know if you got any questions and I'll see you on the next video.